Okay, welcome to this uh, PHP tutorial series. Um, did that last time. So in this series, we're going to be creating an RSS feed generating type page. Um, and what this will do is, well, it'll generate an RSS feed. Uh, I'm going to be using this blog code that we had previously um, from from my previous blog tutorial. So in effect, in, in a way, even we are going to be extending uh, that. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, so basically what we're going to be doing is adding a RSS feed to our blog. So if I just go to blog list, you see this is basically what we had before, although the posts are different because I deleted the database and had to recreate it for this tutorial. Um, I will be doing backups from now on. So what we're adding is basically this RSS button. So if you use Firefox um, and my theme, but I imagine we're very fairly similar with most themes, um, when you go to a page like a blog or something, you occasionally see this RSS icon. And what this means is that if you click on it, you can subscribe to this feed um, using your favorite feed reader. In my ca in this case, I don't use RSS feeds, so um, we are just going to um, sort of display it in the browser and say, "Look at this." So this is sort of the result of the RSS feed. Um, this isn't the actual output of the script. Um, the script outputs an XML document, and then this is the result. Um, like my browser processing it. Um, so if I just view the page source, to bring this window down here, this is what we actually output. Um, you see it's like an XML document, um, just because of the XML header and the RSS version, uh, and then all the information we need. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. I'm not sure what else is to say. Um, I will be explaining briefly what an RSS feed is in the next part as well, so if you don't know then just sort of follow along and watch that. Um, and also, if you um, haven't watched my blog tutorial yet, then it probably would make sense for you to do that first, because then you'll know the function I'm going to use um, and how to code that. So, not sure what the results, uh, what else there is to say. Um, hopefully, this will be quite short. I mean, I'll probably get through the whole thing in just one part, um, which is lucky because um, I've gone home before I was at uni accommodation, and now. Uh, videos take about four hours to upload, so it'd be nice to do a short tutorial for once. Although well, I've said that before, as you probably know. Anyway, I'm rambling, so I'm going to end this here and join me in part one, where I'll show you how to create this RSS feed thingy. Okay, thanks for watching.